Tonight, people gathered at the library on Goodwood challenging the I-10 widening project. Members of the community gathered in numbers to oppose the project. News 2's Tristan Turner was there. We don't want this. It's a multi-year project that will cost taxpayers billions of dollars and more importantly, their time. Basically, 150,000 vehicles are not going to have much of a place to go. We've been waiting for a traffic management plan for DOTD for about six years, and they still haven't produced one as of today. The project will affect quality of life for citizens in Baton Rouge, but not only on the roads. It's going to affect people beyond just traffic on the roads, but it actually affects the people underneath. There's going to be lots of houses that get torn down. I've already photographed one generational family that's home was pulled down uh, for the Washington change. And these things leave a mark, and sometimes it's hard for the communities to come back and reuse these spaces again. The project has seen opposition from many, including so Attorney General yeah. Jeff Landry's office. Every day that they proceed down this path of pursuing uh, an option that was neither studied nor communicated nor allowed to the, the public to, to provide comment on is a day longer that it's going to take to complete this project. After DOTD announced delays and extra costs associated with the LA-1 bridge construction in West Baton Rouge, residents worry a similar situation could happen with this project. In Baton Rouge, Tristan Turner, WBRZ News.